we knew we were going to have a very busy time, but when we came back from Wales, we found that we had to fit in some extra jobs into the schedule. You can see that we've had one tree down in the front garden. Some of it had fallen, um, and as you can see, because the rest was a little bit precarious, we had to cut that down. And in very, very strong high winds, we had to take down two little trees that were actually sort of bending over and threatening our neighbour's summer room. And the next thing is to go down to the Isle of Wight. It's half term, so we want to spend some time with the grandchildren. The probability is that we'll be bringing all four of them back, so we need to go down in the car anyway. But it is very frustrating that here we are, we've got a perfectly good machine that's stuck in the hangar because of these really, really strong winds, heavy rain, waterlogged ground. Um, and it's a perfect way of getting down there. Um, from here to Sandown, it's usually about an hour and a half, as opposed to the drive, which is the best part of four and a half um, hours. And using White Link, which is the uh, shortest and quickest route, I very rarely get a, a crossing less than, well, I don't know, about 90 pounds. Uh, and that's to do an eight mile stretch of water. But what I'm going to do on, on this video is I'm going to include a little bit uh, of the trip I went down with, with Dave just to remind us what flying is about. It probably takes John the same time to fly the channel as it does for me to fly this. Oh, uh, speed ain't everything. I mean, I no, had that no. Whitman and that. Uh, you know, sometimes you think everything's too fraught in the bloody thing. Yeah. It's not relaxing like this. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I mean, I used to love my Nord. Yeah, I but, did. I loved the Nord. But my this, is, this is very comfortable. I love the wing beneath me now. I don't like the yeah. wing anymore. And then there's the, you know, the fact that I just thrown all that stuff in the back, yeah. just literally, boom. Yeah. Traffic, this is Golf Fox Trot on correct three uniform, lining up two three for immediate departure. Right, we're using two three. Is that a visitor or a. It sounds like it. Yeah. I don't recognise the voice. We have to fly in formation, they're both red and white. Yeah, yeah. No cars there. They may well have gone to the airfield. Yeah. Okay, so what would you normally do here? Join downwind or? No, I'd join on base. If you run along the top of the downs, see the yep. downs there? Run along the top, top of the downs and just come and then join right base for two, three. Okay. There's the white stone on the top is yep. our, our downwind marker. We, that's what we use for our downwind. Okay. So, you know, when you're ever climbing out and you're, or you're coming in the land, you fly downwind towards that marker, then turn right onto base. Land down traffic of over Yankee Echo Hotel, base four, two, three. Land down traffic. Watching you, I, I definitely am approaching too fast in mine. Just got to get used to it a bit more. Yeah. He just loves to glide as well, doesn't it? He does. I'm afraid it was a bit of a curved approach. It's all right. I should do that all the time in the bike lane, I am. Is there a curl over on the trees or anything? You can get a bit. I would not, I would have thought. Yeah, it's almost straight down, so I wouldn't have yeah.
Although what I noticed one windstock said something completely different to the other one. Chris was good enough to give me a mention in his Strut newsletter saying that it was my channel that had inspired him to start his own. Have a look. Uh, his Facebook and his YouTube channel go under the name of Gull Perch and he operates out of Bolt Head, Sulcum, Devon. You'll see from the screenshot of the windy app that that weekend we did have uh, another storm with very strong winds and rain and everything else. We were down with uh, Kate for a few days and as I predicted we brought the children back. It's always nice to have them back. They like to help with the horses. trying to get this one all sorted out in terms of the chronology for the video but we took the children back 
met Kate at Cobham, um, which reduced the journey time for her and for, for us. Uh, but a week later, I was back down on the island, this time to help do some decorating prior to some carpets being fitted. Uh, Karen was involved with the horses, so she wasn't able to go. So on that basis, we went down. Well, I went down by train. Um, we always look at it. If both of us go down, it's about the same um, price-wise in terms of diesel and ferry crossing. But when you go down by yourself, it's it's cheaper to go down by train, which is what I did. Um, and suddenly. Um, <laughs> decided to film part of the return while at the same time thinking about what it was like to fly it back. So uh, I haven't decided which way I'm going to show you, whether I'm going to show you the flight back or whether I'm going to show you the train journey back, but uh, hopefully before too long we'll get a break in the weather and we can actually start flying and filming some flights for this year. Got lots planned, lots of flight to do, but it's just not playing ball. One day after day, we've got strong winds, we've got rain. Um, on the brief occasions when we haven't got a wind and it's not raining, then the ground has been absolutely sodden anyway. But we must get a break at some stage. This tells you which side of the craft to find your emergency exit. Leave all personal belongings behind. Please read the emergency procedure card which is in a seat pocket in front of you or a card holder nearby. The card tells you what to do if we need to. Ladies and gents, this is the Somerset Railway Service to London Waterloo calling next to Hampton Airport Parkway, Winchester, Woking, finally London Waterloo, scheduled arrival time 1952. Chapter 3 Black Thursday. Thursday, 14th of October 1943. Another cold, damp and hazy morning at Thorpe Abbots, a village lying a few miles east of the quiet country town of Dis in Norfolk and home to the 100th Bomb Group. This is London Waterloo. Change here for London Underground services. If you see something that doesn't look right, speak to a member of staff or text the British Transport Police.